resident tech forum today in this video we are going to discuss issu or in service software upgrade for wlc controller c catalyst 9800 wlc controllers right so what we are going to see we are going to see what is issu then we will see how to perform wlc 9800 issu using dna center we will also touch base upon pre ap pre image download and staggered ap upgrade which is part of issu all right so this is one of the cisco documentation this is just for example so that we can touch base on some high level concept what is issu it is a procedure to upgrade the wireless controller image to a la later image while your network continue to forward tra forward traffic even during the upgrade right so issu supported on these platform i will paste this link in the documentation so please go go ahead and give it a read Hi on high level what do you do you uh, Install software image into flash memory, then download the AP image to AP, and then following to that, you perform your controller up update. That means install, add, activate, and commit. And ISSU takes care of the entire process. Uh, that means installing software on active, on standby, and the switch over. Everything happen automatically in the background. Some re prerequisite: make sure that your WLC is install mode and the active and standby both are on the same software level and make sure there is no power interruption during the upgrade right certain other guidelines please go ahead and read you can uh, manually abort uh, the process but for that there are the, these commands you can use right instead of saying install abort you have to say install issu abort and also if you want to check ap pre download stats then use ap show ap image or AP image upgrade command on uh, CLI, right? So in real time, you can track what percentage of your AP has been upgraded, okay? So I'm going to speed up this video a little bit. Yes, so to manually abort, you can use install issu abort command, right? Now, this is the command line. Uh, obviously, we are going to use DNS enter, so we are not bothered about the command line, but it's always good to know, okay? Install issu is supported only within and uh, between major releases. So at the end of this uh, uh, demonstration, I'll show you um, where to go and check Cisco documentation because you want to make sure that your from from where you are upgrading to where to which release you are upgrading that is part of supported metrics that means you can you are allowed to do issu from a certain image x to a certain image y and these are such some commands right install add commit uh, but we will be using dns center here so software download obviously you go have to go to uh, cisco so software download center and there you can see you have ios xc software available so download whatever software you you want to upgrade and also this is the important part issu compatibility matrix so now on cco or on cisco software you can find this upload com uh, compatibility matrix and this is a small xml file which has all the platform and releases uh, which support issu right so it's a compatibility matrix for ISSU across entire Cisco port portfolio, right? So what I'm doing here, I'm scrolling uh, down and try to find what platforms are supported, right? Here you can see 9880, 40, um, K9, LC, pretty much all the uh, variable of or all the variety of 9800 is supported. And from what release it is, up to what release it is supported all is listed here so you need this xml file if you are using dns center uh, to to make dns center understand that yes this is a supported version and this is the uh, device in question which we are going to upgrade as you can see this is a, a redundant pair or ha pair of wlc and they are in redundancy mode sso right image version to start with is 17.63 and we will go ahead and upgrade it to uh, next version uh, which is irrelevant right uh, you may want in your case you may want to go upgrade from any other release to any other release right but here for dna center uh, regular upgrade process what you have to do you have to first download the image and mark that image 
as golden so that dna so right now you can see 1763 was marked golden i am going to change it and mark 179 as a golden as you tag that you can see the uh, information here the impact of golden tagging i'll take a moment and now you can see uh, 79 is marked as golden and roll is all all right now if you go back to inventory and try to see that uh, find that device you will see that dna center is recommending you an upgrade why because you change the golden image right and dna center quickly realized that this device is not running golden image so it give you a, a recommendation that it needs upgrade all right here this is the pre uh, pre check before you upgrade this is a pre upgrade check and as you can see obviously my running image is 63 golden image is 9 and here is the new field issu compatibility check so you need to upload that xml file here on dna center so that uh, this issu functionality is enabled right now without uh, that xml you can see you cannot enable uh, issu all right because update readiness is failing and now what i'm going to do i'm going to upload that and as i upload that you'll see issu functionality will become available all right this is the image update uh, uh, workflow all right looks like i didn't update it uh, now you can see we are passing issu compatibility check because i uploaded the xml from my desktop to dna center and now if i want to do a software upgrade the workflow will start before we are in, in starting the upgrade let's verify so installation mode is inst uh, install and we are running 1763 okay so this is the our baseline on device itself all right software image image update the workflow started here you can you are going to select here you can use one or multiple devices we are going to just use one and now you can see enable ssu update feature is available because we uploaded the xml matrix next you software distribution check so there are certain checks you can perform due, due uh, during pre and post of distribution while you are sending the ios file to wlc right i'm uh, i'm gonna go ahead and create one additional or custom check during distribution just for example to show you what is that show version or show issu status detail right and then in additional criteria you can see you can choose when to run this command right custom command you can say distribution and activation both so it will make this check after distribution after activation or you can just say after activation so i am interested to see uh, what was my version before and after activation so that's why i said additional criteria uh, check after activation operation okay and i named it uh, uh, issu so this is my custom command okay software distribution check software activation check you see that check started showing up here because we wanted that check to happen only during activation you can skip activation and it's going to activate it later time but i just want to go ahead and activate immediately so what i'm saying that distribute image right now and software activation immediately after distribution so both the process will happen here back to back distribution and activation and i have made a lot of videos around dna center software upgrade so if you want to learn more about that go and uh, explore my channel sdn tech forum and you will find a bunch of videos related to dna center uh, software upgrade but here we are we are more interested in performing issu so i show uh, i want to show you the issu workflow there are a few new knobs coming up like issu xml metrics and all those things once you do that you, you see the software activation is in pro progress The image distribution is happening and as you can see during distribution the check um, whatever check we prescribe 
it that that's been run okay so this entire operation distribution and activation definitely it's time consuming it depend on how many aps you have got, um, connected to your wlc and all those things obviously distribution is fast but after distribution you can see what we are doing uh, we are unpacking image and then we will start the pre uh, image download for aps that is quite time consuming task because what what we are doing we are pushing the new image to aps even before activation right so make sure you have sufficient time uh, if, if it is a like production or a big network so make sure you have enough time and after distribution once distribution steps are complete we'll go into activation so i'm going to stop this video uh, pause this video now uh, when i came back you can see distribution is complete it took almost 36 minutes and these are the different steps you can expand them try to understand and 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 understand what happened during that step so it gives you a very good visibility into like what is happening right pre ap pre image download as you can see uh, total number of aps were 35 and completed pre downloading is 35 okay now i'm running activation so during that activation that as I mentioned, right, uh, image activation, uh, pre -st active activa activation, standby activation, switch over, everything will happen automatically behind the scene. And then we will do a staggered AP upgrade. Staggered AP upgrade means you are not going to reboot all the AP at once, right? You are just uh, a DNAC intelligently or WLC intelligently looking at the total number of APs and at the same time, it will pick certain percentage of those APs, disjoin them from WLC, reboot, so that they can come up with a new software and join controller again. And by doing this, you can ensure that there is a minimal disruption in your within your network, right? So client, they'll be ported to different AP before you take them down for the new software. And this is the document I was talking about. So when you decide to do a wireless, uh, ISSC upgrade, please read Cisco documentation and make sure that your WLC, your APs and your source release to target release, they are supported, supported as a part of ISSU matrix, right? So please, please look at this document. Uh, otherwise, you can run into some unexpected uh, outcomes, right? So I hope you find this video helpful and uh, you're excited to perform an ISSU within your network because no one likes a downtime. And if uh, with the new hardware and new software, you can maintain a 100% uptime and same user experience, that's the great thing, right? That's, that's what as a network engineer we aspire for. So thank you very much for watching this video. And you, if you like this video or you are going to upgrade your network with ISSU, please feel free to um, uh, give me a comment or put put something in comment how was your experience and please like and sh share and subscribe this video and share with others thank you